I want to say good morning to uh, all of the kids, a few of you who are downstairs and watching, and some of you who might be watching on television. And, and I wish you were here because I'd love to hear your answers to my questions this morning because they're hard questions. The first one's easy though. Who do you find it easy to love? Maybe your best friend, maybe your favorite teacher, your parents, your siblings. Maybe you have some great cousins. Now here's the hard question. Who do you find it hard to love? There are people who are mean. They tease too much. Some who are bullies. I don't know about you, but I don't like to be around people like that, let alone love them. How are we going to love people like that? Well, in our scripture today, Jesus says, you know, it's easy to love people who are good to us and who love us back. Everyone can do that. But the challenge is, how do we love people who are really hard to love, who are, who are difficult or, or even mean to us? What's really hard, like, how do you love a bully? That's a big question, isn't it? And, and I wish I could just give you a magic answer that would make it all work, that if you would say the right words or do the right thing, that, that it would be a lot easier. And sometimes when you listen to someone and you show them kindness, that, that things get better and you do become friends or at least a little less hostile with people. Sometimes you can even turn an enemy into a neighbor. And other times, no matter how kind you are, no matter how hard you try, well, some people are just hard. Some people are mean. But Jesus says we still have to try to love. Because think about what happens if we don't try. Well, then the world gets just a little more angry and a little less kind, and maybe even that starts to affect us, and, and we even start to get a little mean, too, to people we don't like. The bottom line is love takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of courage, doesn't it? And that's part of why we come to church, because I think we can't love if we're alone. We really need a whole church family and teachers, and, and we need to do this together because if you stand alone, it can just be too hard. So here's where we learn to love, especially when it's hard. So let's listen to the scripture lesson now about um, what Jesus has to say um, about how to love when it's actually sometimes really hard. From Luke. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those that curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other one also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much gain, but love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn 
and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap, for the measure you give will be the treasure you get back.